Hello everyone, the Senpai Code here. So I'm going to go over how to import models from 3D Studio Max to Unity with the right pivot points. This is something that's been discussed on the Unity 3D forums where people import models from 3D Studio Max into Unity and the model will be on the side or the pivot points will be not proper, kind of like what this is. Some people will actually create empty game objects and this make this model a child but that's not the right way to do it you can do it that way but why do it that way when you can actually do it properly so let's uh, get into 3d studio max and i'll go over how to export it and how to switch the pivot points but first i want to actually go over uh, unity actually uses the y axis as the up where 3d studio max will actually use the z axis and if you go up to export so if I go to export and I just name this, say down, I hit save. If you go into the axis conversion, there is an up axis and it's Y up. So it'll actually change the Y to be the up axis. So let's make sure you do uh, have that on. So you see the axis here, but this isn't the pivot point. The axis may be up here. But if I go into the hierarchy here and then I go to pivot and I hit effect pivot point, this is actually the pivot point that we see in Unity. So it is off the side and like we've seen in Unity, it is pointing a different way, an angle. And this is actually the Z, not the Y. So when it actually goes into exploitation, it's actually going to flip this around a bit. And that's what gave us the angle that we see here. So going into how do we, how do we move the pivot point? How do we position it? Well, that's uh, pretty simple. So we have the effect pivot point only. We can actually just go to edit work and pivot point and that's actually going to flip it straight up so we do have it straight up now and going into if we drag and drop this in let me just uh, delete this right here so if we drag and drop this in it's going to put the pivot point at the ground so we want to have the pivot point at the bottom of the model what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually use the working and that's going to make us be able to move the model itself while keeping this pivot point the same so I'm going to actually move the model up and I'm actually going to position the model where the oh, oops, uh, pivot point actually is. I can actually go into uh, restore viewport and then find out, okay, well, yeah, let's uh, move this right here. We can actually do it this way actually would be the best. Uh, move this over to here and then Let's just move this. Yeah, let's move it up to about here. And now when you do this, you always want to hit edit work and pivot point again. If you do not hit this again, so it won't save it to the location that you have. It will restore it back to where it originally is. So it would actually put it back up here on the model here. So now we can actually go ahead and go and export this. So I'm going to save this as night two, just to show you guys that this does work. So I'm just going to hit OK y-axis up and everything so when we go back into the game here if i go and i drag and drop night two in and then i drag and drop this in now the pivot point and everything is proper it's at the proper location it's in the center everything is fine uh, but that's how you change the pivot points from 3d studio max into unity but hopefully this helped you guys for the people asking on the unity forms how do we move the pivot point? It's not uh, putting the Y up or something. You can always rotate this too, uh, just by right clicking, you know, and going to rotate and then rotating it over. Uh, you can actually just put it on whatever angle you want down here, 90 degrees on the X, the Y, or the Z, whichever. And you can actually rotate it the right way too, to have the Y actually up. But uh, it will do that hopefully when you export. But if it doesn't, just rotate it and then you'll get the Y up and then you can export it if your model was laying sideways when you import and just do that and it should fix it. So hopefully this helped you guys. If it did, leave a like, comment so other people can find this video and I'll see you guys next time.